Welcome to Destiny Children's TV. We're so glad that you joined us today. Yes, we are. We're going to look at another great story from the Bible today. Another great story for us to have faith and to believe. But before we get to that, we're going to worship Jesus. You're going to need to find some space. Put a smile on your face. We need loads of energy and enthusiasm. Up you get. Come on, up you get. Let's praise Jesus together. Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got, got my belt of truth check. Breastplate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of faith. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Helmet of salvation.
for Jesus there's nothing impossible for you when all I see are the ashes you see the beauty when all I see is a cross God you see the empty tomb so when I fight fight on my knees with my hands lifted high oh God the battle belongs to you and every fear be at your feet and I'll sing through the night before us nothing can stand against the power of our God you shine in the shadow you win every battle nothing can stand against the power of our God almighty fortress you go before us nothing can stand against the power of our God You shine in the shadow You win every battle Nothing can stand against The power of our God Yeah So when I fight Fight on my knees With my hands lifted high Oh God The battle belongs to me sing through the night oh god the battle belongs to you Bible, Moses and the Red Sea. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time where Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. So Moses ran away from Egypt to the land of Midian. Many years later, God called Moses back to Egypt to rescue his people with the help of his brother Aaron. The Pharaoh did not want to let God's people go, and God showed his power throughout all Egypt by sending plagues. Even with all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard, and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up and heard a great cry in Egypt, Huh? for there was not an Egyptian house in which someone was not dead. Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron and told them to leave Egypt with the Israelites. So the Israelites immediately left Egypt and made their way for the promised land, taking with them many riches from Egypt. They took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. God led them by a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. God told Moses to have the people camp along the shore of the Red Sea. Okay, got it. We're stopping here. God told Moses that the Egyptians would come after them, but that God would show his glory and power through this. When word reached Pharaoh that the Israelites had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. The Egyptians found the Israelites camped along the shore of the sea. As Pharaoh and his armies came close, the Israelites panicked. They cried out to God and asked Moses, why did you bring us out here to die in the wilderness? But Moses told the people, don't be afraid. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. 
Then God said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. All right. As night came, the pillar of cloud became fire and it went between the Israelites and the Egyptians. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea and God opened a path through the water with a strong wind. Wow. The wind blew all that night, turning the seabed into dry land. Come on, are you? So the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground with walls of water on each side. Come on! Then the Egyptians chased the Israelites into the middle of the sea. But just before dawn, God looked down on the Egyptian army from the pillar of fire and cloud, and he threw their forces into total confusion. Let's get out of here, away from these Israelites. The Egyptians shouted, the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. When all the Israelites had reached the other side, God said to Moses, raise your hand over the sea again. Who got it. Moses raised his hand over the sea and the water rushed back into its usual place. The Egyptians tried to escape, but God swept them into the sea. That is how God rescued Israel from the hand of the Egyptians that day. When the people of Israel saw the mighty power that God had shown against the Egyptians, they were amazed. They put their faith in God and in his servant, Moses. So there you go, guys, another amazing story in the Bible about how God saves his people. And you know that verse that says in Exodus 14, 14, we heard it in the story, you only need to remain calm. The Lord will fight for you. How does that work in real life? How do we remain calm when things are going on in our lives and we really want them to change? How do we know that God is fighting for us? Well, you know, it's all about that remaining calm. It's all about not reacting, not getting angry because somebody has said something or somebody has done something. It's not fighting back at them or saying words or, or using our fists. It's not about trying to make something happen. But instead, it's about just doing what God has asked you to do. What has God asked you to do? Can you ever think? God has asked you to love your friends. He's asked you to love your enemies. He's asked you to care for people and to tell people about the great news of Jesus. You know, even when you feel like people are perhaps not being nice to you or things aren't going the way that you want them to, we just have to remember this verse. Exodus 14, 14. You only need to remain calm. The Lord will fight for you. Dusty! Dusty! What's wrong, Grandma? It's Ziggy! What's happened to him? He has had a fight with the neighbour's cat again. Oh, Ziggy, this can't keep happening. What were they fighting about now? Well, Ziggy said that the cat was looking at him funny. So Ziggy told the cat to get out of our garden. And then what happened? Well, Ziggy told me that the cat said... Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Ziggy told you that the cat spoke? Yes, he did. Which doesn't make any sense, does it? Because cats can't talk. That's right, Grandma. Cats can't talk. I mean, I get it. I understand why Ziggy wants to fight the cat. It's a very cheeky cat. Let me go and talk to him. Ziggy, have you been fighting with the cats again? Beep Why? Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep 
Boo, 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 boo. Oh, you thought he was trying to steal Grandma's socks. Beep, boo. And you're the only one who is allowed to steal and eat Grandma's socks. Beep, boo. Oh, dear. I don't even know why you like them so much. They're so smelly. I heard that. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, Ziggy, today on Destiny Children's TV, the boys and girls are learning that God fights our battles for us and you don't have to worry. Beep, boo. Right, now that's settled, I'll go tell Grandma everything is all right. Grandma! Yes? Everything is okay now. Ziggy is fine and I don't think he's going to be fighting with the cat anymore. Oh, thank goodness. By the way, have you seen my socks? Um, <laughs> no, I, I haven't, sorry. <laughs> I bet you've got loads of jokes about cats, haven't you, Dusty? Oh, I don't think so. I can't think of any. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad one. Have you got any more? What's it called when all the cat treats are gone? I don't know. A catastrophe. <laughs> oh, very good. Have you got one more before we go? What about this one? Why don't you want to play Monopoly with a cat? Um, I don't know. Because they all tend to be cheaters. Hey! Oh, ha, ha, I like that one too. Try and think of your own cat jokes this week, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye! Hi, folks! It's me, Kentucky Carl, and I'm here today with another pop quiz! Hot shots! Are you ready? Do you already know the answer to the questions? Do ya? Do ya? Question number one. How did God appear to the Israelites? Is it with a cloud and fire? Is it with lightning and sparks? Or with rainbow and fog? What do you reckon, folks? A, B, or C? Tell me now. That's right. The answer is... A, cloud and fire. Question number two. What did the Israelites need to do to part the Red Sea? Was it A, nothing? They just need to be calm and trust God. Was it B, get their shovels out? Or was it C, blow the water away together? What do you reckon, folks? A, B, C, C, B, A. Give me your answer. The answer is... A. Nothing, just be calm and trust God. Question number three. Who is the leader of the Israelites? Is it A, you know? Is it B, Moses? Or is it C, Aaron? Why do you have to call A, B, or C? That's why right. it was B, Moses! In what book do we find this star with? Is it A, book of Exodus? Is it B, the book of Hobbits? Or is it C, the Chronicles of Narnia? What do you reckon, folks? Tell me now. Shout out your answer. Don't delay. That's right, it's A, Exodus! Final question, folks. Get ready. This is the moment when you show you can really listen in. What do we need to do to have God fight for us? Is it A, 
Stay calm and trust God. Is it B? Do what God has asked you to do. Is it C? Get angry. Or is it D? Punch someone in the face. What do you reckon? A, B, C, or D? Or is it like last week, a trick question? Is it C and D? A and B. What do you reckon? Shout out the answer, folks. That's right, it was A and B. Top quizzing, folks. Remember, just remain calm. God is on it, and he is fighting for you. See you real soon, folks. So there you go, guys. What a great time we've had today on Destiny Children's TV, learning all about Moses and the amazing miracle that God performed to save the Israelites, and to remember that we just need to remain calm because God is always on our side and he's always helping us and he's always fighting for us. Yes, he is. Remember to go to destinychurch.co.uk for today's activity pack. We've got colouring, we've got spot the difference, we've got our memory verse, there's loads of great stuff on there. So head over to destinychurch.co.uk. Remember to get your grown-ups to subscribe to our emails on our website and here on YouTube, click like and subscribe. And we will see you all so soon. Take care, everybody. Almighty fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadow, you win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. Almighty fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadow. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God.